I'm Anil Kumar and here is an interesting question where markup is based on selling price. In many of retail applications, we normally know the selling price. Only very few people in the organization will know the cost price. And therefore, whenever the markup is done, it is actually done on selling price. Here is a question of that application. The selling price of an item is $68. If the markup is 35% of the selling price, so 35% of selling price, find the cost price. So that is the question for us. So let's make uh, the regular 3 by 3 table and then we'll kind of solve this question, right? We know cost plus markup is selling price to start with. So let's write down cost plus markup is equals to selling price. What are we given? The selling price of an item is $68, right? So we are given the selling price of $68. Markup is 35%. 35% is the markup of this markup is on selling price. So it is on selling price, okay? So the markup is on selling price. So that is the base for us. So here the base is selling price, okay? And therefore, we'll take this as 100%, right? So that is the kind of information which is given to us. We need to find the cost price, correct? Now, from here, we can see that, that if the selling price is this value, in that case, markup and cost will make the whole, right? Now markup is around 30%, less 35%, let's say like this. So this is the markup of 35%. Balance is actually the cost. So how much is the cost? So the cost is 100 minus 35, right? Which is 65%, right? So this is 65% for us. So we have 65, I mean 65% on selling price. So the cost is 65% of selling price, right? So from here, we get that cost is 65% of selling price. Do you get it, right? So this is how we can get it. And that's the beauty of this table. So we have percents here, the numbers there. So we can find the number using the percent row right so the cost is equals to 65 percent you can say 0 0.65 in decimals or you can write 65 over 100 as you wish times the selling price of 68 to get the answer right so that is how you can quickly get the answer 65 times 68 divided by 100 is in decimals 44.20 right so we get cost price as our answer, dollar forty-four point two zero. Right, so we can write here forty-four point two zero. Correct. So that is how you can actually get the cost price. Now here is an alternate method of doing it. Always we have an alternate method. So the alternate method is actually simpler. Find thirty-five percent of sixty-eight, right, and take away that amount, right. So that is an alternate method. So it is 35% of 68 is equals to the markup. Is it okay? So let's calculate how much it is, which is 0.35 times 68, right? In decimals, it is markup is 23.8, right? So we get a markup of 23.8. So we get markup of 23.8 since cost plus markup is selling price cost price is 68 minus 23.8 and that also gives us the same answer which is 44.20 correct so that is one alternate method you can see well for some this may be a better method in the given situation anyway these are the two ways in which you can solve such questions I hope that helps. Thank you.
and all the best.